not move. I want you to stay right there, right where you are. Hey guys, I hope you liked this short film. I want to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes and how I did some of the VFX in this video. But first, I want to thank Dashlane, the password manager, for sponsoring this video. If you're someone who has a lot of different accounts with multiple websites and you have a hard time remembering and storing your passwords, or you just use the same or similar passwords for each, you should consider using a password manager. Dashlane is a desktop and mobile app that manages all your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one. It makes sure every password is long, complicated and secure and it has a secure autofill feature that makes it really easy when you're filling out a form or signing up for a new account. It also has a VPN to prevent anyone from tracking you and it lets you access content anywhere in the world. Dashlane is completely free on your first device so head over to dashlane.com slash shutter and give it a try and if you like it you can use my promo code shutter to get 40% off to upgrade to premium. Alright now back to the making of. The first step was to create a screenplay and a storyboard for the film. This might seem unnecessary for a lot of people but I find it extremely useful to have a storyboard while filming especially since our videos always involve a lot of CGI and VFX. The next step was to film the video. We found this really spooky street with no houses or traffic and it had a lot of trees so it was perfect for what we were going for. Once we got all the footage we needed I started working on the VFX. I needed to create a 3D model of Longhorse so I sculpted it in Blender. It basically starts with a sphere and I push and pull it around with different kinds of brushes until I have the basic shape of the skull. Then I sculpted in all the little details. I did the same thing for its super long neck. I created one piece with just a few joints and then cloned it a bunch of times to make it very long. The next step was to animate long horse and render it out. After that I start compositing all the layers back in After Effects. Since we shot the video in very low light, I shot it on a gimbal stabilizer to get the footage looking as smooth as possible. Once I added all the VFX, I added some digital camera shake using the camera shake plugin that comes with Red Giant Universe. This tool creates very complex shake patterns and has a bunch of great presets. So the fake camera shake is a lot more realistic than most other methods. For the shot of Siren Head's foot, I wanted it to look very realistic. So I filmed my own foot and distorted it to make it look monstrous. Once all the VFX was complete, I started working on the sound design and DaVinci Resolve. I used a ton of amazing horror sound effects and soundtracks from Production Crate. Off late, it has become my favorite place for getting VFX stock footage and sound effects. Also, shout out to Chris Kelly from Production Crate for doing the police voiceover. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you've got ideas for our next video, leave a comment and tell me what it is. If you're new here, check out our previous videos and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.